By the way, you know, let me tell you, the Swiss Central Bank had the fastest growing monetary growth rate of any central banks. Okay, and their loss on the amount of euros they accumulated was about, I think they say estimated between 65 billion to 80 billion, which is, you know, something like 7 or 8 percent of GDP. And I think, frankly, if you ask anyone, well, what does this loss mean? I think no one even has a clue. What, is, what does it mean to have a loss, you know, a central bank loss of 70 billion or whatever, you know, 7.5 uh, percent of GDP. I think this is just about as important as what happened, you know, when, when Bear Stearns went bust, okay? This is actually the first time that a central bank turns out and puts their hands up and said, the market's bigger than we are, okay? And, and, and I think this is the first of many central banks who are actually going to turn around and say, the market is bigger than we are. We actually, uh, you know, I think there are a lot of ladies out here, but we actually, you know, uh, uh, you know sort of, I, I won't mention it, but we actually, you know, uh, had a big, big problem, you know. And I think this is going to be uh, the first sort of thing. You know, they say that, you know, the fat lady never sings at the top. Well, here's the fat lady singing. The fat lady sang in, uh, you know, in, in 2007. The fat lady singing again. This is a very, very big deal.